In this problem, we have to find the derivative. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So we have a function, and it's to a power. So we're going to use the chain rule. So g prime of theta is equal to... So the chain rule says that we take the derivative of the outside, and we leave the inside untouched, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside piece. So we're going to bring the 3 down, so 3, parentheses, leave the inside untouched, so cosine 8 theta, subtract 1. So now we've taken the derivative of the outside, and now we're going to multiply, so times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is cosine of 8 theta. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So here we have to use the chain rule again because it's cosine of 8 theta. So it'll be negative sine of 8 theta. And 8 theta is the inside, so we leave it untouched. Times, again, the derivative of the inside function. In this case, the inside function is 8 theta. The derivative of theta is 1, so we'll just get 8. It's like a double chain rule, so you bring down the 3. Subtract 1, so you get 2, and times the derivative of the inside, which is negative sine of 8 theta, and then again times the derivative of the inside, so like a double chain rule. The last thing maybe to do is just to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to put uh, the 8 and the 3, I'm going to multiply those to get 24, and put the negative out front, so negative 24. I'm also going to put the sine function out front, so sine of 8 theta. And then we have cosine, I'm going to write it like this, cosine squared of 8 theta. I write it with the typical you know, shorthand notation. And that would be the final answer.